Hey guys, it's King of Stuff 811 here, and I'm going to be showing you a quick video uh, for the top seven apps and tweaks for our iPad 2, iPad 3, iPhone 4s, etc., running 5.1.1. And I'm making this video because just a few days ago, uh, the Absinthe 2.0 5.1.1 jailbreak came out for A5 devices. So a lot of people would be jailbreaking their iPad 2s and things like that uh, right now. So I think this will be a good video because there are a lot of jailbreak videos out there which are outdated because all the features that they get would be used in iOS 5 or they don't work anymore in iOS 5. So let's start off and the first one, okay first off you guys are going to need to add all the sources and re uh, sources for the repositories uh, on Cydia and I'll have all those repo URLs on the description. So how you actually add those URLs is first open up Cydia and when it's open up go to sources and click edit which is here and then add okay and then enter these your the URLs that you see uh, in the link description so let's get started the first app I'm gonna be demonstrating is Windows so pretty much after you've added all the repositories uh, you you just search for them on Cydia and they should come up so the first app is Windows and this is basically in well it's an iPhone app but you can enlarge it and yeah you can enlarge it and it can run Windows 3.1.1 or Windows 95 which is pretty pointless but interesting because then you can you know you can tell your friends hey my iPad can run Microsoft Windows so it's a pretty pretty you know cool emulator that you can play around with um, you know it can do whatever you want it to do so anyway I'll close out of that and let you play with it. Next app I'm going to show you is PSX Roll, which is another emulator which I find really uh, fun. And for PSX for All, this well this game here is Tekken 3, which comes for PlayStation 1. And basically this is a PlayStation 1 emulator, which works perfectly fine. So you're going to need to download this off Cydia, searching it up again. And then you're going to need to download something called the BIOS, the PSX BIOS. And without with that you can you know play whatever games you want because without that you can't play anything so here as you can see is Tekken 3 and I won't get into it because this is you know so and then the next app I'm gonna show is an app called retina pad and it's not really an app it's more of, of a tweak basically once you install retina pad you have an option in your settings bar here and basically it any iPhone applications you have, it will sharpen it a lot. So, yeah. So, let's let's see what an app looks like without Retina Pad. So this is my Viber. I'm gonna enlarge it. Look how ugly it looks. It just looks really ugly. It's like all oh, like um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's kind of like glitchy and disgusting and so on. So in order to optimize it, we'll turn Retina Pad on for this app. And then retina pad. So we'll kill this by yep. We'll kill this. And then now retina pad is enabled. When you enlarge it, it still maintains the same quality. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera because the camera kind of shows that the quality is pretty much the same. But it does work. Trust me. So uh, the next app I'm going to be demonstrating is IAP Cracker. And this is uh, pretty borderline legal stuff, so you guys better watch out. So IP Cracker is basically, for in-app purchases, you will be able to purchase everything for free. So an example, you just need to search up IAP Cracker on the App Store, and that would work. So just to, you know, show you, here's Jetpack Joyride by Halfbrick. And basically, in order to buy coins, it would cost a certain amount of money. So... I go to the stash, I'll click get coins and all these things. So let's see, the ultimate pack cost $16.99. I'm gonna buy it. Whoa. So I've just got one million and fifty thousand coins just like that because of IAP cracker. So basically it bypasses the purchase system and you can buy whatever the hell you want. So so the fifth app I'm gonna show you guys is ProTube HD. And ProTube HD basically is the YouTube app. Uh, but made better. So here's YouTube, and I'm gonna search 
I'm gonna search. That was the search button for something. So I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'm gonna search for the Legend of Zelda Rap, which is made by Smosh, and I'm gonna watch it. And the thing about the thing about um, Pro HD is that it can download MP3s or stream or whatever. So here you go. I'm streaming here. I'm gonna click this button. Now I can choose to download the video, stream, or download the MP3. So I can click download video. I can click the available different things, or I can click download MP3. And it'll come up here. And the download manager. And so on. So those are pretty cool things that you can do. Another little app that I like is called Fake Carrier. And basically at the top of your top left of your iPad is basically um, you know, I would say this iPad. So, so this thing will fake this to be whatever. So I can put high, and just click set, and high will come up there. So that's a cool little thing. You know, if you want to put whatever the hell you want there, that's just a pretty cool thing you can do. And the last app I'll be demonstrating is an app called Quasar, and basically Quasar is another tweak that's useful on 5.1.1 it'll come up here so you need to enable Quasar and respring so we'll wait for it it's taking a bit longer okay so we're gonna slide in and basically with Quasar let's open up some random apps so let's open up settings and come up with this so you can choose to go on full screen if you exit out of the app it will come up with this you can close it like this so basically you have a good good orientation of all these different apps. You can move this thing over here and you know, do whatever you want. So move this thing over here. Now you have two apps on at the same time where you can see both screens. So this would be the settings app, this would be the you know, um magic piano. So you can actually do it's just another cool way. It's kind of like the Mac themes. It's just another cool way to um, <laughs> just another way to um, multitask your apps. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and you know got some use out of it. So these are my top seven apps and tweaks for iPad 2, iPad 3, iPhone 4, iPhone 4s running on 5.1.1. Uh, thank you.